Welcome to the ultimate Sage guide. In this video, I'm gonna go over the basics of Sage, how to use her util, positioning, maps you should and shouldn't play her on, and more. Make sure to stay until the end to see some secret Sage walls I bet you didn't know. Let's get into the guide. Sage can be a solid pick on almost any map in Valorant if played correctly. And with her versatile kit, you can also have a bunch of different play styles. You can play her aggressively and use her heal to heal up after you get the pick. You can use her walls to get different angles that enemies won't expect. Her slows are also one of the best stalling abilities in the game. There's absolutely nothing that compares to it. All right, let's get into how to use Sage's util correctly. Starting off with Sage's wall, her wall can be used in a plethora of different ways. The most basic way is obviously to wall off a choke point. And when doing this, you want to focus on a couple things. First, you want to be unpredictable with what you do. Sometimes you can be peeking on top of the wall. Sometimes you can be not peeking at all, playing back. Maybe you can get close to the wall right here. You want to make sure that you stay unpredictable in the way that you're playing and playing around your utility to make sure that the enemies don't catch on to what you're doing. Another good thing to practice is when you're walling small corridors like this, instead of throwing a default wall like this, throw an angled wall like something like this. And that's going to give the enemies worse angles to peek from, and it makes them break two or three walls instead of one to get any easy access on the site. Next, let's talk about Sage's slow. So typically how I like to play Sage is I'll throw my wall down as early as possible so that it can fortify and enemies will have to inflict the most damage possible. Then after they break it, usually I'll throw one slow. And at this point, you can do some little peeks around it because typically people are going to be stuck and wanting to get out. Next, we'll talk about the heal. Any rechargeable ability in Valorant, you always want to use as early as possible in the round so that you start rebuilding that as quickly as possible and you can use it again for retake or later on in the round. Now, obviously with Sage's heal, you can't use it right off the rip, but if somebody does need a heal early round, it's definitely not a bad idea to use it so you can get it back before the late. Sage's res is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously one of the best in the game. Next, let's go over the maps you should play Sage on. Sage's stronger maps are going to be maps like Split and Bind with tight corridors that are easy to wall off slow and play off your util. And then obviously Icebox, her wall is super valuable. Ascent, Fracture, Breeze, and Haven, she's still good. You might have more impact with util on other agents. However, Sage is definitely not a throw pick on these maps. Next, I'm going to quickly go over good positioning on all seven maps and where you should be playing and where you shouldn't be playing. On Ascent, Sage should be playing either of the mains or Cat to get the most out of her util. A good wall I like to use on B main is right here. And this cuts off B main and lane as well, so you can actually hide behind it. Or you can sit stairs and you can guarantee that no one's come lane unless this wall is broken. As far as A main goes, typically a normal sage wall will do, but I still like to angle them like this so that you get different angles to play off of and you can do it left to right, right to left, whatever. And just mix it up so the angles that you're peeking are different every round. And lastly, here on Cat, this is another double wall. They actually have to break three walls to get through this. This is one of the best sage walls in the game. This is by far sage's best map. She can play A middle or B and still have a huge impact no matter where she plays. I typically like to wall middle and then fight try and get picks in and out of my wall and slows but it's really up to you guys wherever you feel comfortable fracture is another very basic map she can play either of the mains either of the sites and still be effective however i did want to show some attacking walls that i found to be really good on sage if you wall this while you're going onto site it gives you a little bit of cover to actually get onto site they can still see your head but at least this bridges the gap and gets you a little bit more space and then same with over here if you're coming from arcade you can wall this off and give yourself a little bit of extra cover on the site next we'll move on to bind like i said this is also one of sage's best maps the places that I recommend playing are going to be showers and hookah. Off the beginning of the round and the drop of the screens, if you have your wall out like this and run out right away and throw a diagonal wall like something like that, they actually have to break two or three walls to get through. And that also gives you free orb control to get it and back out. In hookah, I recommend throwing a similar wall and you can throw it left to right or right to left again and just get different angles. If you want to prioritize the orb, you can also wall long and get the orb for free. But I definitely recommend playing hookah or showers as your util is definitely best there. So on breeze, you can play either of the mains on sage and that's fine, but I'm going to show you guys two other things that I like to do. First, I like to wall off halls, so you just don't have to worry about it. And the other one I like to do is over here at elbow. If you actually put a wall right here, it gives you a perfect little head glitch into elbow, and then you can also see all over middle right here. So typically Sage's job on icebox is going to be to wall tube, but with the addition of chamber, typically what I like to do is have an alarm bot here and then use Sage somewhere else to actually have a good defense on site. You can do something like wall off the orb to get the orb. You can wall off left side over here or even right over here as well. And then you just have to worry about one side and up top and you can actually play behind it. Typically Sage's job on Haven was to wall off B. Personally, I find Sage to be the most useful in A sewer and garage. You can do diagonal walls like this where they have to break two pieces to get through. And you can also do a wall short like this. 
It will also boost you up on this box and you can play different angles from here. That also works for B. If you throw your wall here, you can jump on this box and actually chow from top B. And then lastly, I like to throw a diagonal wall in garage. And this also works to get on top of this box to get another angle as well. Now a couple quick secret walls. If you go in hookah on bind and you put your wall on top of that little ledge right there, Go on top of B site and you can actually see underneath. It's a one way for you and you can get some cheeky kills. Next one I like to do is on B site ascent. You're going to jump to this box with a forward facing wall. Look towards it. Then you're going to jump, crouch and place the wall. And this is going to give you a sight onto B main and then anything coming lane or stairs. Next one is for the attackers on cat. And this actually allows you to see into market. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this helped you, please don't forget to subscribe and have a beautiful day.